So hi everyone, my name is Jaya Khatri and I'm the managing partner at Langoic. And I have along with me, Ms. Ritika Rana. Uh, and she is the interim head of the FU Berlin uh, New Delhi office. So we are basically uh, conducting this webinar, keeping in mind uh, not just masters in computer science, but also uh, the various right, wide range of the um, of the course uh, which is offered by FU Berlin. So whenever we talk about masters in computer science, mainly students think of various different universities, but FU Berlin is also offering a very good uh, course if I talk about the computer science, as well as if I talk about masters in biology, physics, chemistry, phil, uh, mathematics, uh, psychology, and the other various programs, which of course my uh, colleague Ritika would be taking ahead to that. Uh, before we start, I would like to give you a brief introduction about uh, me and Langoic. So basically in 2009, I uh, learned German language. I completed my C2 level and in 2014 I did my master's in German literature at GNU. In 2018 I, wore, I did a course at uh, FU Berlin. Myself, I was a student of FU Berlin. So uh, being as a student of FU University, I can assure you it offers a wide range of the course as well as the library of it is really very beautiful and has lots of books which was my uh, the best part of this whole uh, journey when i had uh, in fu and about the langoic so langoic is a german language school which offers all the levels under one roof that means from a1 to c1 and we also offer test staff and test rs preparatory courses plus we have speaking sessions with native germans and in case if you are not uh, willing to fly to Germany and want to stay in India, work in the German field, we offer the placements in different MNCs like Amazon, Concentrix, ENY, Deloitte, Essential, and many more. Plus, we have over here expert faculties. We have 20 plus staff members and IT team, which is looking for our uh, portal. Now, and we have over here after every weeks, after every, like in, a, in one month, we have faculty development programs wherein our faculties always upskills themselves. So if I talk about the Langoic is also providing a portal on which one can get lots of virtual lectures and self-assessment material, quizzes, reading material and listening material. And through this portal, one is able to keep a track of the classes. So that is the X factor of Langoic. Now coming back to the FU thing, as I mentioned, this is not just about the masters in computer science. This is about the wide range offered by FU. So I'll just uh, allow my colleague to take over it. Uh, Ritika, please. Yes, hello. Thank you so much, Jaya, for um, your kind words and interest and other information language is uh, providing to the students and interested people. Um, I'm also very happy to be here today and uh, giving this information session to your uh, students, interested participants about uh, the information that I can provide from Fry University Burden site. So it's indeed our pleasure to, to have you on board and um, and Thank promote you. our university at um, Lenguic too. So yes, in order to move further, I'll just quickly talk about what is the role of the office and you have already introduced me, so that is something I can leave and uh, that I don't have to. So first of all, I would like to mention two lines about the office that um, FU office is founded and established in India in New Delhi uh, for the purpose of uh, extending international collaboration and uh, basically on the lines of internationalization. 
So this is how um, the offices all across the world have been founded. There are five, uh, four other offices also that uh, Fry University Berlin has all over the world. Uh, Fry University Berlin New Delhi office is one of them. And uh, we have seven partner universities in India with whom we share cooperation um, agreement and we do a lot of research with them so a lot of research takes place, student exchange takes place. Um, wonderful. That's really very really wonderful. Yeah, so in case there are students from these universities or partners, so I'll just quickly name them so that they can get in touch with me later on in case they have any specific questions of any kind. So in Delhi, we have Delhi University, Jawaharlal Nehru University. Uh, Terry Institute as our partner and then we also have uh, outside Delhi we have uh, we are right now in the process of uh, signing one of the contract with IIM Calcutta we are also already partner with IIT Bombay IIT Madras uh, University of Hyderabad is also a very um, intense partner of us and Pondicherry University in South and also I am <clears throat> IIT Bangalore. So all these, um, yeah, so I hope the other students can also take uh, advantage of the same. So yeah, our uh, main job of the office or the task of the office is to um, basically get uh, good researchers and scholars from India, not only from our partner institutes, but of course, uh, make a reach and do an outreach to the other uh, fantastic uh, excellent scholars as well because as we know that for University Berlin is that's also shown in my PPT here that <laughs> usually uh, we are in the top 11 University of Germany and we have been selected thrice as a German University of Excellence which is a very prestigious uh, uh, award or uh, funding opportunity that any university can get. So it's a public university mainly uh, having expertise in humanities and social science, but also they are very known for their natural and life sciences subjects. So, and I think then even the ethos of the universities are also, universities also very good uh, because they believe in truth, justice and freedom. It, um, if somebody reads that the history of the university, they would know that how it had been founded by some researchers who had interest to take um, research to the next level and free from all political influences. So it was um, the idea of, um, you know, of some of the researchers that had shaped the university in later years. It was supported by um, US President John F. Kennedy also. There were there was a, a famous lecture at the Henry Ford uh, Hall in 1963 at Prior University Berlin, and he also supported this idea very much. And this is how it is getting a lot of support, not only from the government, but renowned um, politicians and famous celebrities too. So before we go ahead and talk too much about Berlin, if I can request you to go to the uh, last page, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, these are the campus impressions that I wanted students to have to get a virtual treat by um, having glimpse of these uh, you know campus uh, areas. So this first building is the building that I had uh, talked about, and um, the third picture is of a famous library that even Jaya you would know very well, yeah. a crane-shaped uh, famous library. Um, yeah picture is of the Henry Ford Hall and there are these botanical gardens and um, the last picture is of again a practice a sustainable uh, center which is also um, built at the university to save energy consumption so there are various kinds of innovations taking place and a lot of uh, things uh, which is very attractive for the students and a green big campus is also again uh, big motivation for all kinds of students to enjoy their college life. And it is surrounded by um, other uh, 
research institutions as well, for example, Max Planck Society and so on and so forth. So it's just on a walking distance from there. So that's mm -hmm. also um, makes it uh, another good choice for uh, the students to be interested at FU than any other university in Berlin um, because it gives them opportunity to be at a walking distance from other institutions and when they at, uh, later on in their career if they look for any uh, interdisciplinary research program so they can all basically be very convenient and just walk to other research center which can be part of their interdisciplinary research. So if we move to the next slide, please, then it talks about these numbers that I uh, just mentioned that um, it's a big uh, university in comparison to, of course, Indian universities. Uh, it might not be that big, but still it's a big number for German universities and any European university. So it has approximately 33,000 uh, students and uh, um, 4,000 doctoral students one can see and all these other numbers and I think what is the most fascinating part of it that um, there are students at the university from more than 150 countries all across the world. So there is usually um, now 30 um, between 30 to 35 percent students at the universities at various level whether it's at masters or PhD, they are uh, international. And of course, um, India holds a very big chunk of these students. So that's very motivating for any Indian scholars to know. Yes, even in my course, when I did a literature course over there in FU Berlin, in within my course itself, there were nearly uh, students for joining from uh, different five countries. They were from China, India was of course there and one was from the Spain and from Norway and uh, from Denmark as well. So they were dif from different countries. So one gets a very beautiful uh, multicultural like, environment exposure. Yes, I must say yes. Yeah, thank you. So if you move to the next slide. So basically, usually I get these questions from the students. They are worried and their parents are also a little concerned that are uh, children all only going to be the first one to enter this university and all it's not the case it's uh, already very well known uh, among indians as well and now as we know even from the list of the dad as well that the number of indian students applying in germany for uh, various courses is uh, growing exponentially every year um, and for last year the number was overwhelming it was showing 36,000 students have applied in Germany wow. so that's uh, really a very big jump from the uh, last to last year so I think that's also nice and I've already explained about this that and for all these various reasons because of course Berlin is a much cheaper um, place also to live uh, for a student um, so that's also very attractive and, uh, attractive and of course it's a capital so then it has all kinds of uh, facilities and uh, even small job opportunities for the students and a lot of startups and every um, new innovative companies are also um, uh, earlier Frankfurt used to be hub of industrial um, companies <laughs> in Germany but now even Berlin is also coming uh, very close to it and very popular so I think that's also motivating and especially for the females on board I would say that uh, we do have this uh, uh, in center called Margarita von Branto Centrum so they take care of any kinds of concern a female might uh, have uh, at the university so and then there are usually these webinars and workshops going on on uh, gender equality topic on uh, on other topics as well and then there is um, crutch facility also given to the female uh, students and uh, staff usually for the staff but also of course all kinds of uh, options can be explored and we have been known to um, maintain a good 
gender ratio at uh, uh, whether it's at uh, staff level or at students level usually the ratio has been really motivating it's nearly 47% to 52% male female ratio so which is a very um, i think uh, good number to consider and uh, yeah so and we have been awarded uh, prime ac berlin have been awarded also for all kinds of their practices which they uh, try to implement at all levels at the university so if we go to the next slide then we can see that this is the crux of the university basically that we have these 11 departments four central institutes and six central facilities center I'd already explained. So when we talk about humanities and cultural uh, science, then these are the uh, various departments. So rather than giving detail in uh, too much, uh, uh, with too much uh, facts and figures, I would just like to present this slide to all the students here that they can uh, identify and figure out which of uh, them is their field or their um, area of uh, study and then accordingly they can look at the opportunities at the master's level or at the PhD level and then they can of course uh, revert back to me with any kind of concrete queries they have. Usually we request and expect student to of course go through the basic details on our website unlike um, the usual Indian uh, scenario, we um, know that the German websites are usually uh, more updated, uh, so to say. So the information is not uh, very outdated there. Usually we can see all the deadlines, applications, lines, everything is uh, there in place uh, very soon. Um, and very recent information is given there. So you have to look at um, your qualification, your field, and which of the level of uh, study you are planning to do at Prime University Berlin, and then look at the admission requirements there, which all of uh, which all of them you would be fulfilling. And in case there is any cross question on those requirements that you have in mind, you can of course always get back to me or. It is also already given on the website that you can write back to the department as well and check with them directly that this is what my query and question and concern is. Kindly uh, let me know if I will uh, still be eligible and so on and so forth, for example. So, and you can of course copy me in those emails and I can take it over in case you don't get response and time and so on and so forth. And of course, center is uh, there who also provides any kind of detailed information of these courses so mm -hmm. and then uh, these central institutes are mainly also the centers for um, uh, basically there are two kinds of phd as we know individual phd and structured phd so usually the structured phd the programs takes place at these four central institutes so this is um, these are very uh, subject specific as we can also see from the list here so you can have a look at the details of these central institutes so and there is a lot of good scope of course for the students of mathematics as well there is a fully funded uh, scholarship program at berlin mathematical schools um, that you would see and also um, the PhD is fully funded at Berlin Mathematical School. So there are these various funding options also, not only um, the course options. So that is also something can be explored further. As we know, of course, it's a public university. There is hardly any fee for most of the courses, but even the accommodation and everything else is also covered by these scholarships. Um, so if we go to the next page, then we see the names of these departments uh, chronologically here and uh, i can request students to take a photo of this page basically and then they can uh, of course come back to me later on after explaining uh, after identifying which of the query they might have yes 
Also, I would be sharing this PPT then. Is that okay? Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So I should fine. be mailing this PPT to the attendees. And only just giving the uh, crux of uh, the summary of this PPT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So if we go to the next slide. Yeah, then these are again the details of these four research institute, uh, central institutes and graduate schools. So graduate schools also give the opportunity of uh, PhD program and uh, programs. So if we go to the next page, then these are the programs which are available in English at Fry University Berlin. So most of the courses at the bachelor level, they are in German. On, uh, only one of the bachelor course, which is uh, bachelor's in uh, North American studies is in uh, English. Otherwise, all other courses are in um, German. So for uh, master's program, it's, there are still more options than only one. So these are the options that one can see. And of course, can again, uh, the relevant students can take the picture of this page also and see which one of them they will be interested in and then uh, look at the application deadlines and so on and so forth, which varies from uh, program to program uh, and not everything comes under have a standard deadline. How we have in uh, India, basically, we have usually a fixed deadline for all kinds of courses available at university, but usually Germany is uh, very autonomous in that sense and they have different criteria and different deadlines for uh, most of the courses. So if we move to the next page. Yeah, this is just one of the example that I wanted to give here that um, how all these departments then are subdivided by uh, the various institutes which are there um, at university. So um, they are uh, uh, so, for example, at the Department of Biology, Chemistry and Pharmacy, we have this Institute of Biology, which is a separate unit altogether, or the Institute of Chemistry and Biochemistry and Institute of Pharmacy. So all these uh, options and institutes give a very wide range of programs and opportunity to learn and um, be very growth oriented in itself. So each institute um, grow um, differently as per the requirement of the uh, program of the students and the new initiatives taken by the professors and students. So that's also, I think, really uh, fantastic that how they try to also give you that platform to explore options further and grow further. So that for most of the departments, so you know, before deciding on, of course, your course and respective level, you can look at the details. You might also find um, that in the interdisciplinary programs or at the other institutes within the department. Let's put it that way. Yeah, so okay. if we move to the next slide, then I will just touch upon this very briefly. Um, this Dalam Research School um, is a unit at Pra University Berlin, which is responsible for doctoral program. I'm not sure how many of the um, attendees today are interested in doctoral program, so I'll not bore them with too much of detail. But this, uh, but just show them this overview that how for the natural and life sciences students, these are the options and the fields which are given at the university. And again, there they can see even the students from little different background can also be um, of uh, be eligible basically for these programs. So you can ex uh, see in detail if um, which one of them will uh, you know, be exciting to you and then you can see at the details later on. So for mm -hmm. more details, this about the doctoral and uh, individual doctoral program and structured doctor doctoral program. We can have a separate session, or you can also attend DAD info sessions for PhD and so on and so forth. So, for of course, FU, I have already given you details that um, individual uh, PhD 
will be same at FU as well that you have to write to the uh, respective professor who have um, done any research in uh, the topic that you will choose and then you have to write the proposal on your topic and uh, to send it of course uh, to respective professor and customize your proposal every time when you are writing to the professor and please do not send it send the same proposal to every professor uh, <laughs> yeah that's the key word here because usually we do have the of course um, we do try to use the same if possible but with german professor they do have different backgrounds of qualification experience so they will genuinely be looking at each line of your proposal to see how much uh, mutually benefiting your proposal and topic to that professor would be so customize it according to the professor that you will be um, you know, basically uh, trying to get in touch with to see if uh, they can accept you as a student um, and be your guide for their program uh, for their phd program uh, your phd program so and same goes for the uh, structured program as well there you don't have too much of option to play with um, there is a strict uh, structure of the program and then there you um, will just have, have to show how you will be beneficial to this research team or to this uh, fixed um, uh, doctoral program structured doctoral program so you have to show how your expertise will be of benefit to this program so this is the um, main um, points that one needs to remember. If we go to the next page, so same is applicable for humanities and social science. Here also students can take a picture. I don't think so much is needed here for the uh, students to know. Only the last second, second last um, point on the slide can uh, basically show that how um, there is this uh, program with the Max Planck uh, Research School, basically International Max Planck Research School on the life course. So that shows that how FU is not only uh, limited to FU, but also working closely with other big research centers of uh, Germany at the PhD and research level. So if we go to the next slide. Yeah, here are these uh, graduate schools and um, at this Dalam Humanity Center, there are a lot of fellowships and scholarships for uh, junior researchers. So these are also the options one can explore. So we go to the next slide. Then, of course, we all know about the DAD scholarship possibility that you usually there are many of them. Then there are there is DFG also. Um, who can give scholarship at FOB you can avail test scholarship but of course that's not something one a student can claim test scholarship means that the student uh, whosoever gets accepted by a professor at uh, Freie University Berlin they can request that professor only of course if they need um, uh, the possibility of scholarship that and even it's um, also one of the favorite of professors as well that before they agree to be your guide for the whole um, phd uh, of yours they would um, they have the possibility and funding lines to give you scholarship for three months that's called test scholarship that phd aspirants can write to these professors if you can um, please allow me to take this scholarship so that I work closely with you for next three months. It also varies at times. It goes up to six months also, depending on the work um, that both of them have to do to together. So then that period is also then funded by the university. So it is uh, given as a support to the um, good scholars that how they can take advantage of not only the knowledge of the professors at the university, but they will also be supported with other funds required to explore if uh, this PhD is going to be really a good match for both the students and the professor. So, mm -hmm. uh, we of course, do not um, 
write to them with a um, statement that we had been told and please yeah give us this scholarship this is what also happens at times uh, please note that this is possible to be availed because of course professor also has to uh, go through certain process in order to give the scholarship he also he or she also has to apply at the department or at the university for you to avail the scholarship so it's not something one can command it is only one can only uh, put a request for and that also is possible of course if your work is highly appreciated and uh, accepted by the professor your proposal has gone through so that, that scholarship then um, even the structured doctoral program, as I said, I had given the example of Berlin Mathematical School. So, um, yeah, there are other options as well, where, uh, which are uh, sponsored uh, doctoral programs. And this is usually the crux that academic jobs at Berlin University Alliance or so different units. Basically, there are there is funding uh, possible for various subjects and uh, of various kinds, uh, research assistant and all those things. Uh, so small scale job and uh, you know, bigger positions as a junior uh, researcher later on and all of that is possible. Um, so keep checking the website um, at of Dalam Research School for detail and further information on this. And these are just the examples that I've given uh, from the last time. Yeah, so they of course uh, come twice in a year. So that is how you can um, look at the details, which one of them is uh, still available for you to apply. Mm -hmm. And of course, so we go to the next page. <coughs> yeah, again, this TRS is the word that I would request any scholar to remember, that's all. So if we move to the next page, Yeah, so there is the student service center also available at the university throughout the year. During Corona times, of course, the timings of the uh, center um, were different and not available and so on and so forth. But usually the center is uh, there physically at the campus and the students can always go to the center for all kinds of their queries. So they can write to them not only from here but also when they are there they can meet them for the year so um, and of course they do give information in english as well they reserve this possibility so and usually they are quick so they usually take one week if you write an email to them these days if they, it takes little more time than usual but uh, usually they are very efficient so we move to the last page and that's <laughs> That's where you uh, find our office basically at 21 Jorba. So you yes. can also have the walk in uh, consultation with me. Um, that is also possible, of course, with the uh, between the office timings. And you can fix an appointment with me over an email. You can write down this email, <laughs> delhi at the rate of berlin.de. And then we can be in touch to exchange information further <coughs> sorry excuse me so that's all for now i will hand over the stage to there thank you and we'll thank look you forward so, yeah thank you so much ritika i'm really glad to you i'm really very 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 thankful to you i understand that uh, like you are not keeping well. Uh, in spite of that, you were able to do this webinar with me. I'm very, very thankful to you for this. And FU Berlin Delhi office, as well as FU Berlin, uh, for making this happen and understanding the cause. And I can see uh, there is one of my students in the audience. He must have benefited it through this. He is doing his PhD right now in biology. So I believe he would be able to uh, get uh, or on this. And I'm really, very glad uh, for this. So I, we would like to just uh, say goodbye to everyone. And if you have 
any queries, any questions, you can always write to me and of course I will guide it to Ritika or you can even write directly to Ritika. The email uh, address was given to you. Uh, um, sh can I show it once again? Yeah. Yeah, you can also maybe add my email ID in the email which you will send them to uh, send them to the attendees maybe uh, yeah. with a thank you note so you can uh, simply so that they also have it in record and they also don't forget it. It's just yes. on one piece of paper that they have right now maybe with them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, so I'm really very thankful to you. Now, so uh, through this webinar, what we actually want to portray was that FU Berlin uh, is the place where you can get admit not only in masters, but also in the PhD programs, along with the fully funded scholarships. Yeah, as well as it is uh, also known for the uh, doing if you are coming from the field of mathematics, biology and various other fields everything which was shown to you through this through this ppt yeah so i'm really very really glad to uh, glad for making this happen i thank all the attendees and i thank ritika as well as fu berlin new delhi office and the fu berlin thank you so much pleasure was all ours uh, and thank you so much for having us